Listen up. Listen up. I said, listen up. Y'all are going to notice as we go through the presentation, my voice is going to get a little louder. That's not the speaker in me. That's the dad in me. And one of the things that, that I really don't like, I don't like people to talk while I'm talking. And I'm going to tell you why. Because the information I got can change and save your life. And I ain't here to play games with nobody. We're going to laugh, but we ain't going to do too much playing. I don't believe in tricking off time. I came a long way to drop something in your lap. And if you take what I say, I guarantee you, you'll be successful. This is, this is a true story. I went all the way up through my senior year in high school. I don't even know how I passed. I graduated with straight Ds. They told me. <laughs> I make the money. I ain't say I was sharp. I ain't say I was bright. <laughs> But now, so I grab, this is literally what they told me was, they said, Kendall, I'm going to let you walk. You're going to have to come back and get the diploma. We're going to, you know, they had to give you the empty joint. I'm telling you, I gave it to me. So I told my mom, I'm graduating. Mom said, all right, we'd be there. My dad was there. Sister was there. Graduation day. You know, they're playing the music. I'm walking down. I'm like, yeah, graduating. A little nervous, though, because I'm like, oh, what the hell am I going to do? <laughs> nervous. <clears throat> Finish, get out. Everybody hugged. My mom said, okay, I'm telling you the truth. This is exactly what she said. She said, you going to college? I said, I ain't going to waste your money because I'm just going to be messing around with all these girls. Um, she said, all right, I'm leaving. I said, where you going? You about to go to dinner or something? She said, no, I'm moving out. I'm going to go live with my fiance because she was engaged. And you got the apartment. You pay the rent and rent due next week. So after she told me that, I got a little, so I got in my car and I rolled one of them little, boom. And I got a 40 year old E. That's when you could drink and drive back then. I remember, like, I got in my car and I was driving around. And I just kept saying to myself, like, yo, what you gonna do with your life? And I'm drinking. And I was smoking. Drinking. I'm 18 years old. I'm drinking. And I'm smoking. And I get to the house. And I go upstairs. I'm drunk. I'm high. And I go and I sit down on the bed. And you know how you sit on the bed and you just kind of lay back with your clothes on? And I lay back and I, looked, I was looking up at the ceiling. I started crying, for real, because I was scared. Like, I didn't know how I was going to make a living. I didn't know what I was going to do. Nobody ever came to my school and talked to me the way I'm talking to you. Nobody ever, like my mom was like, just go to school, pass, get good grades. Wasn't nobody putting a foot on my neck to be great. Nobody was doing that. So I didn't have an example. My father was an alcoholic. My mother was doing her thing. I didn't know what I was going to do. I laid back and I looked up and I just started crying. And I'm like, yo, it's not a good feeling. And I finally went to sleep. And I know I was dreaming something. I was tossing. I was turning. And then I woke up in the morning. And the only thing I remember was when I fell asleep, I was 18. And I was saying to myself, what am I going to do with my life? When I woke up, I was 40 with four kids. And I'm saying that to say, just like that, time goes by. Just like that, y'all right now can remember kindergarten and elementary school and middle school. Time flies. You go to sleep, you wake up, it's done. And I'm telling you, you ain't got time to waste. No more time. I tricked off high school years. I tricked off time after that because I ain't have nobody to put their foot on my neck and tell me what I need to do to get what I want to get. I wasn't even thinking about six figures a year. I was thinking about just how am I going to make it? If you know you want to make six figures a year, I'm telling you, you're going to have to work your butt off. You're going to have to put your phone down. You're going to have to stop watching Game of Thrones. You're going to have to really, really get serious. Otherwise, on graduation day, you'll be rolling a blunt and drinking a bottle of, of Old E. Talking about what am I doing with my life? If you make it that far. Because most of y'all are coming here and you tricking off life and you tricking off time. And time is a gift. It ain't for you to just play with. We all get the same 86,400 minutes every day. My question is, what are you doing with yours? 